I have some Doug code here. Way back in the first week of school, we built this code, and we've come back to it many a time, and I'm going to come back to it again today. Uh, we we're not going to need all these other subclasses. We're only going to need the main Doug class today. Let's just have a brief look at what's in there. And you can see we're tracking three pieces of information about the dog, the name, the age, and the weight. It's got a speak method, a two-string. There's a couple of constructors. Then there's the getters and the setters. And that's basically all there is. Now, over here inside the dog tester, I think we had created some dogs and uh, printed them out. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean out all this code here. I'm going to ask the question, if we had a bunch of dogs in an array, could we sort the dogs? That's my question for you. Now, before we get to sorting the dogs, let's try something easier. Let's sort some integers. So I'm going to create an integer array first, and I'm going to put some numbers in this array. OK, there's some numbers in the array. And I'm going to sort these. Now, if they're in an array, I have to, oops. Sorry, I should see curly bracket there. Uh, and if they're in an array, I have to call a special library method to sort the array. OK, so I have to import my arrays class, arrays.sort, and then you just give it the data that you want to sort. It's, it's very simple like that. Now, I'm going to write a little method here to print the array. And I'll just print everything on the same line until we're all finished. And then uh, I'll put a blank line at the end of it here. OK. So uh, I, I've created a little method here that's going to, I should probably call it static here. OK, so I've created a little method to print the array. That's just for test purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the array before and after. So I'll print the array here, and I'll print the array after we sort it. All right, so let's, uh, let's run this. And you can see here's the array before I sort it, and here's the array after I sort it. So that works good. That works good. Now, let's do this. Let's create some dogs and see if we can sort them. So what I'll first do is I'll create a few dogs. I'm going to, so I got myself my four dogs here. And I'm going to put the four dogs into a, 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 an array of dogs. So I'll go dog array pack equals, uh, and then I'll put these dogs in the, in, the, um, in the array like that, right? So you can see that all works so far. And now what I'm going to try to do is, you see how I try to sort the data here? with uh, this arrays.sort. I'm going to try the same thing over here. I'm going to go arrays.sort, and I'm going to go uh, pack like that, right? Now, when I go like this and try to compile it, you see it seems to have worked just fine. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the dogs before and after and see if they actually got sorted in any way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to modify my print array. I'm going to call this uh, print dogs dog array now. And now I got myself my little print array for the dogs, right? And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll print the dog pack before and after. So I'll go uh, print dog array uh, pack, and I'll print it before, and I'll print it after. And the other thing that I'll do is I'll change this to a print LN so that each dog will get its own little thing there. OK, so let's run this now. And you can see now I've got uh, all kinds of uh, issues here where the, the runtime engine is complaining that uh, it doesn't know what to do. Now, the initial run of dogs, you see, I was able to print them here. Uh, that, that's this print right here. That This print was fine. The trouble started is when I tried to sort the dogs because the runtime engine, it didn't know how to sort the dogs. And that should make sense to you because I never told the compiler how to sort the dogs. Do I want them sorted alphabetically by name? Do I want them sorted by age, by weight? It has no idea what to do. Now, interestingly, uh, if we drew a slightly different experiment here where I have some strings, let me show you that. Uh, I'm going to turn this off because it's not working so good right now. All right, so I got some strings there. And um, let's say I wanted to sort the strings, right? I want to sort the strings. So now if I go uh, arrays.sort and I say strings, right, I'll just separate them a little bit. And then after I'm all done with that, I'll just print a blank line. OK, so I have this array called strings. I I've told the uh, arrays class uh, library to sort it, sort the strings. And here, 
And what I want to know is, we've already decided that when we were trying to sort the dogs, there's all kinds of ambiguity, like what is the criteria for sorting the dogs? Do we want to sort by age, name, weight, whatever? My question to you is, is there going to be a similar kind of ambiguity if I try to sort the strings? What do you think? Like if I asked you to sort these strings, what would you do? Miss Caitlin, do you think there's any kind of ambiguity when I ask to sort the strings? Okay, so what would the criteria be to sort the strings? Alphabetical order, I think that's pretty clear, right? So let's see if the Java virtual machine knows how to do that. So we're going to run this. All right, let's try that again. So now they're not in alphabetical order, and now we're going to run this to see if it knows to put it in alphabetical order. And you can see that it's rearranged them to put them in alphabetical order. So now my question is, you can see here, by the way, that string is a class, right? See, string is a class, right? And also, dog is a class. You can see string has got a capital letter and dog is a capital letter. So then the question is, how is it that the compiler knows how to sort strings but doesn't know how to sort dogs? And you might be thinking to yourself, well, strings are easy to sort because everybody knows that they have to be sorted in alphabetical order. But the compiler doesn't really know that. See, there's something in the string class that tells the compiler how to sort the strings. Likewise, we can put that same thing in the dog class that tells the dogs how to sort themselves. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to modify our dog class. So let's go over here to the dog code. And we're going to add one tiny little thing here that's going to allow the dogs to know how to be sorted by the sorting library. And so we're going to do implements comparable dog like that. And what this means is, now implements, that means that what comes afterwards is an interface, right? So comparable is an interface. And I'm using this bracket notation to say that we can compare one dog to another dog. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Now, you'll notice that as soon as I put that, the compiler is unhappy right now. And it says, hey, you told me that this dog can be compared to other dogs for sorting purposes but you didn't give me any instructions on how to sort the dogs. So I mentioned to you that implementing an interface is like joining a club, and you'll get some benefits if you belong to the club. The benefit here is that the dogs will be sortable by the library, but in order to join the club, you have to pay some dues. And here, in order to join the comparable club, you need to add one method, and that will tell the dogs how to sort themselves, and that method is called the compare to method. So I'm going to say at override, public int compare to, like that. And in this case, it's going to be dog other. So what I'm saying is that I am telling the compiler that, hey, I want the dogs to be able to be sorted. And I want to do that by implementing this comparable interface. And to implement the comparable interface, I need to provide this method. Now, oops. OK. Uh, and so now, uh, what I want to do now is I want to provide some instructions in here for how to sort the dogs. Now, there's three possibilities. One possibility is that my current dog and this other dog, my current dog should come first. Another possibility is that the other dog should come first in the sort. And the third possibility is that they're similar enough that it doesn't really matter which one comes first. They're like equal for sorting purposes. So those are the three possibilities. Now, the first situation we're going to look at, which will be the easiest one, is we're going to sort by age. We're going to sort by age. And I'm going to say if my age, right? So I'm going to say if age, which is my age, it happens to be less than the other dog's age then I'm going to return a minus one. And what that means is that if I want to sort the dogs by age, I want the younger dogs to come earlier in the list, uh, I'm going to return a negative number if my age is lower than the other dog's age. And I'm going to say further that if the other dogs, if uh, age is greater than the other dog's age, I'm going to return a plus one. And then I'm going to say if it, uh, it, my age is equal to the other dog's age, then I'm going to return a zero. Uh, actually, I don't even need that. I could just say return zero here because that's the only thing it could possibly be. Now, I don't have to put a this pointer here, but I think that it is a good idea to put a this pointer here just to make it clear that I'm referring to my age 
versus the other dog's age. Uh, what is this other dog I keep talking about? It's the other dog that's been passed in this method. And so basically the compare to method compares the current dog with the other dog. And it wants to know if we're going to sort the two dogs, which one comes first? And if you return a negative number, it, I put negative one here, but it could be any negative number. If you put a negative number, it means that my dog should come first. And if you put a positive number, that means the other dog should come first. And if you put a zero, that means they're, you know, they're the same for sorting purposes. So now all I've done everything that I need to do. You see, there's no compiler errors anymore. So I've done everything that I need to do to sort the bunch of the dogs. So now the dog has in its header a declaration that it's going to be sortable because it's comparable now. It's joined the comparable club. And also I provided the instructions for how to sort. So now I'm going to go back to my test code. And you can see this test code will also compile. And now I can, um, I'm going to, I'm not going to need this anymore. Let's just get rid of that. I'm going to turn on my dog code again, which was not working before. And now you'll see that this time the, the sorting will go well. The dogs are all sorted by weight now. Uh, sorry, by age. And you can see the youngest dog, next dog, next dog, next dog. They're all sorted by age. When you get back, we'll sort the dog some other ways. The only thing you have to do, sir, is you have to give it a negative number when the dog comes first. You can, instead of using negative one, you can use any negative integer. And for the positive, similarly, you can use any positive integer. For equal, you have to use zero, obviously.